Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shweta Anand and welcome back to my channel Simplified Dentistry. In today's video, let's have a look on Facebook. A Facebook is an instrument which is used to transfer functional and aesthetic components from patient's mouth to the dental articulator. Specifically, it transfers the relationship of maxillary arch and temporomandibular joint to the cast. So do you know that it is difficult to orient the mandible to the articulator? So this is the reason why maxillary cast is oriented to the articulator with the same relationship between the maxilla and the condyles of the TMG present in the patient and this is done with the help of a face book. Now once the maxillary cast is mounted, the mandibular cast is mounted in relation to the maxillary cast with the help of centric relation record. So this is the reason why face bow is used. So a face bow is defined as a caliper like instrument used to record the spatial relationship of the maxillary arch to some anatomic reference points and then transfer this relationship to an articulator. It orients the dental cast in the same relationship to the opening axis of the articulator. So the orientation is same in the patient's mouth as well as in the articulator. So it helps to accurately replicate the patient's jaw position when fabricating a dental prosthesis such as dentures. There are two types of face bows, arbitrary face bows and kinematic or hinge face bows. The arbitrary face bow determines the approximate center of rotation of condyle, while the kinematic face bow establishes the center accurately. The arbitrary face bow is further divided into earpiece type and fascia type. First, let's have an idea about the arbitrary face bow, which is also called average axis face bow. It is most commonly used face bow and is preferred for complete denture construction. The hinge axis is approximately located and it positions the rod within 5 mm of the true center of rotation of condyle. This method does not locate the true hinge axis but the clinical impact of this inaccuracy is minimal. Arbitrary face bows are classified as earpiece type and fascia type. In earpiece type, the external auditory meatus is considered as reference point to determine the center of condylar rotation, whereas in fascia type of face bow, the center of condylar rotation is arbitrarily marked as 13 mm anterior to the middle of the trachus of the ear or the line drawn from the outer canthus of the eye to the middle of the trachus of the ear known as canthotragal line. So this is the canthotragal line, which is a line drawn from the middle of the tragus. This is the tragus to the outer canthus, that is the corner of the eye where the upper and lower eyelids meet. So on this canthotragal line, center of condylar rotation is marked 13 mm anterior to the tragus of the ear. Now let's know about kinematic face bow. It is a face bow with adjustable caliper ends used to locate the transverse horizontal axis of the mandible. It locates the true or exact center of condylar rotation or transverse horizontal axis. It is used in full mouth reconstructions. It usually requires a fully adjustable articulator. Now let's have a look at the differences between arbitrary face bow and kinematic face bow. Arbitrary face bow uses arbitrary measurements to locate hinge axis, whereas kinematic face bow locates accurate hinge axis. Arbitrary face bow is used for complete denture constructions, whereas kinematic face bow is used for full mouth rehabilitation. Arbitrary face bow determines only orientation jaw relation, whereas kinematic face bow determines orientation jaw relation and centric relation. In arbitrary face bow, bite fork is attached to maxillary rim, whereas in kinematic face bow, bite fork is attached to mandibular rim. It is easy and quick method to record using arbitrary face bow, whereas recording with kinematic face bow is time consuming. Now let's have a look on the parts of a face bow. A face bow has five parts which are as follows. 
first u-shaped frame second condylar rods third bite fork fourth locking devices and fifth orbital pointer pin now let's know about each part in detail first is u-shaped frame it is a u-shaped metallic frame to which all the other components of the face bow are attached it extends from the tmg of one side to the tmg of another side at least 2 to 3 inches anterior to the face to avoid contact second is condylar rods these are two calibrated metal extensions fitted on either side of the free end of the u-shaped frame that are placed on the determined center of condyle the calibrations on either side are equalized and then locked third is bite fork it is a u-shaped rod which is attached to the maxillary occlusal rim while recording the orientation chair relation the bite fork should be inserted about 3 mm above the occlusal surface into the occlusal rim fourth is locking devices there are three locking devices which are as follows one is locking clamp for bite fork it attaches the bite fork to the u-shaped frame another is locking clamp for orbital pointer pin it locks the orbital pin onto the u-shaped rod and there is another locking screw for the condylar rods fifth is orbital pointer pin it helps in marking the anterior reference point that is infraorbital notch and it is present only in arbitrary face bow so that was all about face bow hope you liked this video and for more such contents please subscribe to the channel simplified dentistry